Things you can do with the left hand to, uh, you know, help the left hand in, uh, you know, coercion with the, the alternate picking is to uh, just do finger exercises. There's so many different things to do. Um, just practicing your major scales, uh, your pentatonic scales, your minor scales, things like that. It's already a great exercise, plus it kind of, you know, kills two or three birds with one stone, so to speak. Um, but if you really want to get more, uh, you know, get a little bit more detailed about how to get more dexterity and more technique out of your, your left hand, what you have to understand is, is that um, you have four fingers, basically, that you use on the instrument. Sometimes you might pull a thumb over the top of the neck or something like that. But just how many different possibilities can you, can you uh, come up with with four fingers as far as just exercises? Now, exercises are not necessarily musical. There are musical exercises, but these are going to be more just just for the, the sheer sake of or sheer sake of, 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 of building finger strength and uh, you know separation between the fingers. So uh, typical exercises that people do are uh, and what that is is that's just one finger per fret. each string, and if you notice, I'm leaving my fingers down every time I use them, as much as possible, because that's a really good thing to, uh, you know, as far as finger control, and as far as accuracy and things like that, but you don't really want to have this deal going on where you got, you know, because then you're, you're really not connected to the fretboard, and your fingers can go in any direction, and plus it doesn't get real can't get real fast with that, or real, and your notes actually, the, the tone of your notes and the timbre of your notes become a little bit more, you know, uh, irritating, if you will, <laughs> but, uh, so I try and keep my fingers down as I use them, try and keep a nice curvature of the finger, you know, so that I'm not touching any of the other notes. This is a pretty common exercise. Most most guitar players do this already, or if they don't, they should. And this is you know, on plenty of websites, and there's plenty of plenty of people teaching that kind of thing. Um, as far as the right hand is concerned, the picking hand with this exercise, I'm using alternate picking, just straight alternate picking. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going down, up, down, up. Every time I switch strings, I'm still going up or down. So this is a good way to practice your alternate picking and your left hand technique. So, and you know, you, you can move this exercise up and down the fretboard. You can do it anywhere you want. You might even try connecting them together. You know, and so on and so on. So what I'm doing there is I'm just simply, as I'm playing up to the top string, just moving up a half step. Still being really consistent with my picking hand, I'm still doing uh, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up the whole time. And so you can do it different ways, different directions. I think that the uh, the goal of the, of the situation would be it's not so much the you know trying to play exactly you know in, in four frets. I think you can use two strings. strings and different angles just to this kind of helps with some of the boredom of repeating these exercises over and over and over and that's not really you know 
that's not such a musical idea, obviously. So you know, you you just you don't worry about it being too musical. The goal is to it's kind of like you know working out or jogging or I don't know uh, stairmaster or whatever. And uh, you know whatever people do to, to exercise, you just do it for the sheer uh, for the exercise itself, just to work the muscles and the, for circulation and things like that. So we're just we're just concerned about that. All we're trying to do is just work these fingers. And, uh, you know, it, it prepares us for different kind of situations as far as different kind of picking situations, different kind of scale positions, different kind of fingerings and stuff. So that's the, that's the goal here. You know, you can skip strings. Not skip strings. Work two strings. So as you see, it's like real, it's endless with the amount of variables as far as just what you're working with those four fingers. And it's really, really good because, you know, down the line you're going to, you know, you're going to be playing different kind of scale forms and, it's, you know, really, really going to have to be able to use your pinky and uh, get the good separation between your third and, and your fourth finger as far as the ability to play different kind of things. So that's one exercise. <laughs>